Hi everyone. Today we've got a few jobs and things that we wanted to do and a few things we wanted to show you. So by popular demand, Erica has been requested to show how she makes her breakfast wrap because we showed it like all made on one of the vlogs a couple of weeks ago and everyone's like, how did you make that? That looks amazing. We also want to give you an update on the renovations that are happening out there. We've got a couple of jobs to do out there, just pulling out um, more plants and stuff like that. Um, we've also got some other things we want to show you. So let's go out the back and we'll show you what's happened with the renovations and um, what else we need to do out here. So I can't remember kind of what you, you haven't seen any, any of it. No, yeah. No. So we showed you the back room when we were kind of pulling all of the um, stuff into the shed and stuff like that. So now it's been pulled apart and pulled back together. So and look at our doors so this is the doors to the outside um, backyard <laughs> and then if we come to the left so what was here before that was the door to the outside and then there was a toilet here and now this is going to be a full room that is kind of going to be the laundry so the washing machine will go here there'll be a toilet next to the washing machine and then there will be a little um basin to wash your hands and stuff from the toilet there and there will be a door a cavity sliding door just here um and that is the floor like where the height yeah, so this, will, so this, this is... wood will be the height of the floor so the floor yeah. is coming up like quite a considerable yeah. amount yeah um it's going to be very similar to the kitchen mm -hmm. um whereas now we have kind of two steps down mm -hmm. into this area so um the plan also is to put the sauna here <laughs> and then on the other side is going to be the butler's pantry so this is also going to be the wall i think it's going to be here with a door kind of here somewhere um, <laughs> and we have this servery window now so this is where all those kind of shelves were yes before so this all was of the our storage stuff. in yeah. the laundry previously now it's got a big servery window and i'm going to have a little barbecue area off to the side here so this is going to be really helpful to kind of move things in and out from the outside to the inside mm -hmm. um and there will be a small bench here but it won't be very wide i think it's only going to be about 30 centimeters um and then on this side there will be a big sink and a regular size kitchen bench with more storage up here and we're not sure what we're going to do here we may need storage here as well but we'll just kind of see once it's yeah. all built but they have done so much work in here so they ripped it all apart they um put the plumbing in on friday they moved our hot water system so the hot water system was literally here and as big as me like <laughs> yeah. it literally took up bigger than whole <laughs> space yeah um and now that's been moved outside which is awesome mm -hmm. so that is going to free up a lot of space as well um and they've cluttered the outside so if we go outside so you can see they've cluttered the outside they've painted the outside they've even put some of this kind of trim and stuff on which i'm sure will be painted um there's a window in the um toilet laundry section so this is kind of um, where our back door used to be which is hard, a bit of an adjustment <laughs> So they have done heaps in a week and a half. They have really smashed through a lot of the work and hopefully um, by next week we'll have some gyp rock and some insulation and the floor will be done. So um, we will keep you updated as it progresses. Now, the other thing we wanted to show you, we are going to be pulling up some of this, but we didn't have a chance to show you what was gonna happen with this. <laughs> whole backyard before area. the builder vomit happened <laughs> so we have filmed um previously all of what's happening here and we will insert it here let's go out and show you what our current backyard, look, backyard looks like don't judge us <laughs> and it's mainly gotten really overgrown because we know this has been happening so we just haven't done anything with it um and we'll show you what the plans are going forward so, so as Erica said, this door will be gone. It'll just be a wall. 
So first off, that leads to the front of the house. The plan is that all of this will go and the concrete will go and we'll just kind of pave it here. This part we're still we're still, still negotiating working out this, what's going there. This but part. it's pretty much just like a utility walkway. Nothing nice looking sort of. And then neat and tidy. This part will all come up so that it's the same level as this part so no step and then this is going to be bamboo timber flooring with like arbors across the top here and covered so that's going to go all the way along the back of the house and then into the corner like I said arbors across here and the doors are going to go like even bigger than this window in this whole kind of portion here and then over in this corner see the problem with what we've currently got is this is like just all concrete and um garden bed and completely unusable so and it's quite wide like, like it a takes meter that. and a half almost yeah by doing that so timber all the way to i think about here and then we're going to have paving here and this is going to be my barbecue spot so this big tree is going all of this is going and then we're going to have my barbecue stuff here and the servery window here so that will all kind of neatly kind of blend the front and the, like the house and the outside mm -hmm. and then as we come up into this corner which you can see is currently a jungle that is going to be a podium like a mm -hmm. deck like a gazebo, like a raised a gazebo. deck this thing is also going <laughs> this current it takes up our whole current backyard <laughs> and it dropped down about six months ago and we can't get it back up so it's so low at that end <laughs> that i smack my head on it every time i hang the clothing line um, so anyway there's a big kind of decking podium gazebo going here with a roof on it and behind that will be some trees and plant material to kind of give us a bit of privacy to hide that grey, that shed from next door a little bit. And we're still figuring out what's going to happen up in this section, but there might be a little kind of couple of seats with a little paved area, or there may not, it might just be grass. And then- <laughs> Budget dependent. <laughs> yes, it's likely to be grass at the moment. And then as we come down into here, there's going to be a pond somewhere around this area. But there's still going to be some grass, which is nice because we didn't want to completely lose the grass. And then as we come into here, this is going to turn into the utilities kind of section, which is going to be concreted. And yeah, so there's come kind of like um, all the way to here. some pallet, like a palisade, it's called. Yeah, which is kind of going to break Just it so up. we don't look at the clothesline from the. Um, gazebo mm -hmm. that's there so something's going to be kind of screening this part here and then all of this part to there will be like we'll put a clothesline there it'll be concreted and it will be level mm -hmm. as well um, so yes it's going to be a very big job and it starts in a couple of days so we'll keep you updated as to how it goes so that is what is happening in the backyard and the progress that's going to happen out here but i'm literally nothing started on that yet, no right? and hopefully most of this back room gets finished first and then they move on to the backyard we don't really know the day-to-day -day progress we just see what happens <laughs> and um but our builders have been amazing we have mm -hmm. been extremely happy so far with the progress but we are about to start on this First of all, our whole laundry um, plumbing <laughs> has also been thrown in here, so we'll move that out. Um, and I want to pull more of this um, stuff out just to save what the landscapers need to pull out and maybe save us $5. <laughs> so last weekend we tackled this very small area and that filled our whole green bin. Um, but we have kindly borrowed our neighbor's green bin and we're going to see if we can move a little bit further along. I wouldn't be worried about those Dan honestly you're not going to get that. 
Also, this is the current state of our front yard. We've moved our bins out here just so they're out of the way. And we just constantly have a pile of stuff here now. <laughs> Every now and then it gets taken away and then it gets replenished. Yay. Yay. That's massive. <laughs> Is it heavy? Probably worth like five hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm just about to put it straight in the bin. Oh, hello, Scotty. So we definitely fitted a lot more in that bin than I expected. So we only have like that patch there left of this side area to get up. So when we get access to an empty green bin next week. So it seems we just got that gardening in in the nick of time because it is about to rain. There's meant to be thunderstorms this afternoon, which is a bit annoying on a Sunday, but I'm going to start getting some breakfast ready for us it's about 10 30 now um so i made those egg and bacon wraps and a few people have asked how i made them so i'm just using these simpson's pantry um low carb high protein these are the plus size so the large size ones i find that works better than the smaller ones if you're trying to kind of completely enclose something because you've got you can put more filling in it um, so I've got some bacon on I've just started cooking that and I'm going to put some eggs in I sliced up some cheese and I've got our kind of homemade pickled onions I've put some just a couple of those on and then we like to have sauce on it Dan usually likes some sort of um, barbecue sauce and I like tomato <laughs> so we're gonna get the bacon cooking and then I'll cook the egg and then we'll assemble the wrap okay so once the bacon has cooked I'll just move it out of the way I took some out of the pan as well and I put our eggs in and I season them with salt and pepper and then I've just started getting our wraps ready here so I've just put some cheese and some of our pickled onions and I'm just going to kind of try and keep all the fillings in this spot in the middle. I'll probably just flip the eggs over a little bit as well so they're not too runny because that can get messy. I've put the bacon on and the sauce, Dan's, mine <laughs> and with the eggs I kind of flip them over a little bit and then tried to make them small so they'll fit in this little spot here I've taken the pan off the heat because um, I want it to kind of cool down a little bit and I've turned the temperature down as well because if the temperature is too hot on the pan it will burn um, like the outside of the wrap when you pop it in and I usually just wipe this out to get like the excess oil and any kind of um, black bits out so that the black like the outside of the wrap doesn't get yucky it's probably gone a bit heavy on the fillings it's easy to do <laughs> we're not quite in the middle So folding those bits in there, I think, is key so that you get the complete seal and then always put the seal side down. Okay, so now they're in the pan and I just leave them, kind of have to be patient at this point because I've just got it on relatively low because I don't want it to burn too much, but I want it to brown and kind of seal that side before we flip it over and then kind of brown this side a bit. Just like a tiny little sizzle. 
Okay, so let's see. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's so, so good. They're nice and brown and crunchy and that's kind of sealed it together. And now we're just going to brown it on this side. Just be a couple of minutes. And then we eat. Bellissimo. There we go. So Dan's with good. barbecue sauce, mine with tomato sauce. <laughs> this is going to be really hot. It is. I have yeah. to take a bite for the camera. <laughs> I know what it tastes like. It's bloody delicious. Mm. Who needs to go out to a cafe when you can make your own breakfast burrito right here? When someone can make it for you. When you have an Eric. <laughs> I realised Dan mentioned earlier that we were going to put our sauna out the back there. And I don't think we've ever actually spoken about the sauna. We have a sauna. <laughs> we have a sauna. <laughs> so this is our infrared sauna. So it just plugs into the power because that's the most common question we always get asked. You don't need any special connections or anything. Um, and it's like a one person. So it's just got one a seat. little seat. There's an extra heater, heated part under there. You can change the color of the light to whatever kind of color you want, like for kind of color therapy. Uh, we tend to use it in the night time before we go to bed. So we'll have a sauna, then have a shower, try to be like cold, cold shower, <laughs> and then go to bed. And it, like, it, you do feel good after having a good sweat. And it's funny how, um, dependent on the humidity and the temperature outside, how much or little you can like sweat during the sauna. But we do about 20 minutes at about 55. Depends. Degrees. In winter we'll go to 60 and in yeah. summer we'll be more, like now we'll be more like 55. Not super hot. Some no. people have it really hot, but we find that that is kind of comfortable enough to be kind of sweating, sweating and like feeling good afterwards without feeling like, you know, you're going to pass out or something. So this is our sauna. So at the moment it's in like our front sunroom where my kind of desk and office is. And hopefully it'll be out in the back once the renovations are done. It's also the cat keeping yes, sleep room at, at the, the moment. moment. The cat's litter and their food and everything is in yeah, here. So, so the very first night we had the work done, the girls would usually be out that back room with the door closed overnight. Um, and it works really well because it keeps them contained and they don't disturb they're us at night. And there. they're happy out there. So the first night we didn't know what to do so we just blocked off half of the house so the bedrooms side was um, us and the rest of the house side was them and Scout banged on the door all night like we didn't sleep we really did <sighs> not sleep to the point of like we're worried she's disturbing the neighbors yeah it was, it was so, so loud. loud and we're very close to our neighbors on either side so the second night we tried this because this closes this way they can't so push this it. is my desk and then the sauna it's like a little sunroom and we've got these doors installed before we moved to melbourne and um this is they can't put on the other side they can push the paw they push their paws on it and they mm. open it like this but on this side they can't actually open it themselves and it has been an the absolute best. oh honestly because that after that first night we didn't think we were going to be able to cope but they come out here i feed them i close the door they're completely happy we probably um, open the sauna like yeah. just with it off and then they're, they're happy to kind of because normally we have a towel where we sit because you don't want to like sweat on the nice kind of cedar and they'll sleep in there and we even got this little kind of scratching pad slash bed it's just made out of cardboard from costco it was ten dollars and you can see the gem loves sleeping on that <laughs> so we're making it work until the back areas it's it's working as best as it can so we're pretty happy there was something else I wanted to show you let's go out here so we also got a package a couple of weeks ago now from fun day natural sweets now we did a review of their um gum they have gummy bears they have sour lollies red they frog. have red frogs 
and we did a review of them a while ago and they got in contact with us and said they reformulated their gummy recipe and they wanted us to try it because we did comment that it was very very hard and they have improved it so here is our lolly jar which we don't <laughs> normally do but they sent us a lot um and, and they're all so, like sugar free right yeah sugar free if you haven't watched our video of the fun day sweets before erica will pop a card in the description in the description and whatnot but and they the have, exciting thing is they're now available in woolworth yes so, in the health food yeah. section not mm -hmm. the lolly section mm -hmm. um all of them have come out softer mm -hmm. whatever they've done they're definitely softer the frogs the, the frogs are good even the gummy bears like they feel they hard, feel hard but they're not but the they're same really chewy now yeah. they're not like when you put them in your mouth mm -hmm. they're not chewy the, yeah so they're definitely improved they're chewy but they're not rock hard yeah yeah um so they've definitely improved them but I had another task for you guys. <laughs> you need to put this in the comments below. Also, don't mind our light, you know, our lights over there in, the, in our lounge room in the back. So, in this beautiful packaging that they sent with us, I know. they also sent these. Put it on. <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I need to be doing blind taste tests so because we saw the master chef episode as well yes. where they did the little t and we're like oh what can we taste test so what i thought we could do is something like i taste the real thing and the low carb thing mm -hmm. and see if i can tell the difference so for instance something like tomato sauce trying the low carb mm. a low carb version that we have and the real thing Real deal. and see if i can taste the okay. difference so that's my suggestion the tomato sauce but if you have any other suggestions where you want me to try like the yeah. real thing and the um low carb version of something that we can buy easily at the supermarket i'm happy to try seeing if or i can tell just the difference whatever funny you know oh, erica wants to do thing. like <laughs> anyway we were thinking that Dan could do a blindfold challenge, come up with some ideas. If you're on Instagram, go onto Instagram, send Erica some suggestions so I don't know what we're doing, and then we will film something using these blindfolds. Yeah, and our Instagram handle is Have Butter Will Travel. Yeah, and you can also do Facebook because I don't Make check sure that. Make sure you follow us on Instagram too if you're not. Exactly. You can totally do that. That would be awesome. But we're probably just good. We've just been watching some Wentworth because we have binge and we want to get rid of binge. And so we, we are wanna, actually binge watching. We are. <laughs> so we just want to finish Wentworth and then we can stop binge because we really don't use it for anything. Dan is just playing video games at the moment. You can probably hear her yelling at the people she's playing with. <laughs> she's very bossy. Um, but I'm just going to have a look in the fridge and see if there's anything much that I can rustle up for us to have for dinner. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. I don't know what I'm, what it's gonna, the end result will be, but I've just got an onion and some garlic. We bought some mushrooms, um, like sliced mushrooms at Costco yesterday. Which Dan will probably have for lunch, uh, for breakfast during the week, but I'll use some of those. And we also had this cauliflower rice that we got a little while ago at Costco. So it comes, there's like, this is the bag that you buy, and it's got three packets like this in it. Um, so I'll probably use one of these. This is like super convenient as well if you have a Costco membership. Um, I've also got here. This. There's a bit of bacon left over from Brecky this morning, and we bought a barbecue chicken when we were at Costco, which we had for dinner last night. And then Dan like pulled the rest of the chicken off, so I'm probably gonna use most of this. And then I've got a bit of parmesan cheese here that I grated during the week for something I was making. I just grated it up in the Thermomix. 
and some cream left over from um, some recipes that I'm working on for Christmas. So that is what we're working with. So I'm probably just going to chop up the onion and the garlic first, get that cooking maybe with the bacon and we'll see where we go. Okay, so I've got the bacon kind of cooking away there and I've chopped up the onion and the garlic so I'm going to add this in. That's just the fat that came out of the bacon. I didn't add anything else in there. So I've added the onions and I turned the heat down a bit because I didn't want them to kind of brown too much. And then I've just chopped up the chicken a little bit because it was quite kind of chunky shredded. I won't use it all because there was actually quite a bit in there. And I'll put the garlic in a bit later because I don't want it to burn. I'm going to pop this chicken back in the fridge. I just added in a couple of handfuls of the mushrooms. I probably should have chopped them a bit first because some of them are pretty <laughs> large. Um, but hopefully they'll cook down. Okay, the mushrooms have cooked down a bit. So I'm just going to add in the packet of cauliflower. And the garlic as well. And I'm just going to cook this for a few minutes to kind of soften the cauliflower. Okay, I just added a bit of cream and a little bit of the parmesan cheese. We're kind of kind of going risotto vibes, I think. Are we? I don't know. Anyway, it looks delicious. Just got to add the chicken in once the cauliflower rice is cooked. I did a bit of salt and pepper as well, but I might just taste it to see if it needs any more seasoning. Smells good. So I think this is ready now and look who has magically appeared. You called me. <laughs> okay. To give it a try. Delicious. I'm make sure I We're going with the risotto vibes. Risotto vibes. This is probably also going to be quite hot. Mmm. Oh, yum. <laughs> I didn't get any bacon or mushroom. Oh, yeah. You don't even really know that that's cauliflower. There's a little bit of a cauliflower taste, but you don't really know that it's cauliflower. I've never made anything like that before. Why not? It's actually... It's really, 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 really delicious. So, Erica said, if anyone is actually interested in us putting up this recipe on the website, let us know in the comments and we will do it. We haven't put out a new recipe on the website for ages. So, say yes, so that you get a new... <laughs> So that you can get a new recipe, but this looks really good. Hopefully you've enjoyed coming along with us for the day. I've just been playing a little bit of PlayStation. Um, and we're kind of just going to have dinner and um, the day is ended. So thanks for coming along. If you've enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to keep seeing the renovations. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.